Hey everyone, it's Bill and Wendermere here, and we are getting ready to go back on the road with the Health Chick Mobile. This is going to be a, our longest trip since the, the big tour that we did in, what was that, 2005 6? 2006 was a really big one, 2008 for the. I'm not sure if it was three weeks or a month. Okay, so this will be our third longest. We're gonna do three weeks. The difference on this one is I'm gonna try and work on the road. So we're gonna see how that works. Now, normally for a trip like this, we would plan a couple of weeks in advance, but life well, has kind of happened. We planned, but life happens, and we didn't get to put the plan in action. So we didn't act. So this is a one day get ready for a three week trip. So Weekend we get ready. Well, you work tomorrow, so it's really one day. Well, you're working tomorrow on it. Right, so I'll have two days. He'll have one day, but I still have school to finish. So regardless, um, today's our main day to work. So William, what are you working on? Uh, checking out the wheels, wheel bearings, tire pressure, uh, making sure all the fluids are topped off, making sure we have propane, uh, grease in the hitch, making sure all the hitch components are in good condition. Yeah, don't want a problem. And we forgot to change out the toilet bowl, so are you going to have time to glue that or not? Yes, I'm going to fix the toilet bowl seat for you. Love I don't, you. I, I don't want my princess to slide off the seat. All right. So now I'm going to take you inside and show you the disaster that I'm working on. Thanks, dear. You can get out of the way now. That was obnoxious. It was my Jack that jacked up the Airstream to check the tire. All right, you guys. Goodbye, dear. All right. So I started this this morning, and I made a couple of mistakes. And then I thought I should share the goofs. So I don't want to just show you guys the pretty stuff, so you're really getting behind the scenes. The, so the mistake I made is I forgot how much stuff was already in here and I should have just taken I should have just taken everything out which I didn't so half in half out and then I was like yeah everything's got to come out so I'm um, we're gonna start in the bathroom and I am keeping this so I keep an extra cooler in here and in here these are growlers and they're full of water that was a fun brewery down in South Florida. They're full of water, so they serve dual purposes because we are going to North Carolina and if we pick up beer, we'll already have the growlers. And I like vodka, but that bottle is open, so anything that I'm worried about leaking goes in this bag. And I'm not gonna clean this. Um, it definitely needs to be cleaned, but because this is really serving as storage, I'll clean it once we get to our destination. So the toilet bowl, this has been broken um, and he needs to fix that. But what's really bad is the top broke. We tried to get one at Camping World. And just so you know, they really don't stop parts. Um, so they said a couple of weeks, so he's gonna try and fix it. So. I thought this was a good tip to share. So this was a half used roll of toilet paper and because it's three weeks We're short on space and you have to really consider how much weight I changed the, the toilet bowl roll out So it's a full roll just to save space now the towels this I got in Ikea and this is a wine rack But it also makes for a great towel holder and the only towels that I am taking on the trip are the microfiber because they dry so much quicker. Then, this is our bathroom. <clears throat> These I am going to keep. These are dried out. Um, we always have emergency wipes um, for just in case. Um, they're multifunctional. We use them for, you know, body wipes or... Um, hand wipes if he gets grease um, on him a little bit more durable than paper towels um, these are dried out so I'll use these to clean with this I just went ahead and took everything out and I'll start from scratch there and under here I took everything out here 
and what I am leaving, which I think everyone should have. Um, so we'll take we'll take two rolls of toilet paper. So I'll put another one in here. This is uh, emergency rain gear. This is an emergency blanket. And these are both first aid kits because you never know what's going to happen on the road. And because we're going to be doing some hiking. So that's Bill's closet and I've emptied that. This is our spare bin. And in the spare bin, I have an extra, um, an extra, uh, it's kind of like a, just a blanket, the multi-purpose blanket, an extra chuck, an extra, um, just a crappy kind of sheet if, if we need just something for outside or to wrap something. Some extra toilet bowl, extra first aid, and an extra pair of sheets. And you never know when someone's gonna get sick or something's gonna leak or spill. And you wanna have a nice nice night's sleep. You don't wanna have to worry about finding sheets in the middle of the night just in case something happens. Everything else is kinda in progress. So I still gotta take everything out of our kitchen cabinets. Um, I wanna show you another view. Nothing lasts well, so you don't ever want to leave food because of the heat. This was not on purpose. This fell behind the closet, and this was chocolate-covered almonds, and now we just have gap. I did the same thing. I had a half roll of toilet paper, uh, half roll of um, paper towels, put a fresh one on. And in here, I've started, started working on my closet. So, gals limited clothing space and I really need to be multifunctional but one thing I want to point out I always travel with my rain jacket um, this is a Healy um, I got this on Poshmark so I, it, but it's a it's been fantastic so I love this brand and this um, this goes with me everywhere I'm teaching in person one day so that presents a whole nother issue because now I have to have something nice and I'm gonna have to pack a pair of dress shoes to go with this and then um, I just everyday work wear and then because we're going to North Carolina and South Carolina and going to be in Florida you got to have multi layers so my my dresses I can always put a sweater on top and leggings underneath to make them multi personal multi purposeful so you really want to think layers um, and things that, that you can wear multiple times and that are going to be easy to launder. So I'm bringing laundry detergent. We'll do laundry once a week just because we're, we're in 19 foot. Um, so I have a weight limit and I have a space limit. So there's just a good look of what's going on here. Um, and I will come back in a couple of hours and I'll show you what's going on. So these, I emptied these already. All right, we'll see you in a couple of hours.